And I had this one teacher, this math teacher named Miss Lane, and she was like, um, if you don't use your talent, you're gonna lose it. What something. was her name, Miss Lane? Miss Lane. Okay, yes. shout out to Miss Lane. Yeah, shout out to the same, but she told me, you know, if you don't use your talent, you're gonna, you're gonna lose it. We came a long way and you know it. Stop giving me that look, I can't focus. Boy, you pull me in, I can't control it. You know just what to do when I'm alone with you. So baby, take advantage while you can. Welcome back guys to another episode of the Beatle Model Podcast. Today I have a highly requested artist from Broward County, Florida, singer-songwriter, Ari the Singer. Did I get that right, Ari? Yeah. Okay. So, how you doing this morning? I'm well, and you? I'm right, I'm right. Um, by the way, we love your outfit. Thank you. Is that a, as a custom piece? I like the way you put that together. Yeah, I just put it together last minute. <laughs> okay, so how long you been in Miami? Um, I've lived here my whole life. I'd say I moved around a lot, um, but for the most part, I've lived in well, Broward my whole life. Okay, Broward County. Broward. Yeah. You prefer Broward over Miami? Well, it's Broward's really all I know. I can't really say what I'd prefer because I haven't stayed in Miami long enough to know. Okay, if I okay. Could, like, compare it, you know what I mean? Got you. Let's jump right into it then. Okay. For those who don't know you, let them know who you are and how did you get started into music. Okay, so for those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Irie the Singer. Um, I've been singing since I was in elementary school, writing music since I was in elementary school. Um, I really started taking it seriously, I want to say high school. like. I was writing my own little songs, but they were like, you know, little kid songs. So it wasn't nothing. I just like left it alone. And then, um, you know, I started doing these remixes. And once I started doing these remixes, it kind of just took off from there. I just thought, why not pursue it? Got you. And let's talk a little bit about your family life. So you were okay. raised here. Were your parents in the music business as well, singers? Um, they weren't in the music business, but everybody's talented. Like everybody has their own. Everybody has their own section. Like my brother's a photographer, um, my little sister's a dancer, my older sister, she does it all, but she's like she's a tattoo artist right now. Okay. Um, my grandpa sings, he plays a guitar, so it's like music's just always been the root. Like it's always been at the center. So was there a point in life growing up where someone was like, Hey man, you gotta actually take this singing seriously? Like your voice yes. is real <laughs> complimenting you or everything? Yes, it was um I think elementary school, I did a talent show and I wasn't singing like that. I just, you know, they told me I knew how to sing and I was like, yeah, I know how to sing. But, you know, I'm a kid, so I was like, what? it was a whatever thing. And I had this one teacher, this math teacher named Miss Lane, and she was like, um, if you don't use your talent, you're going to lose it. Or what was her name, Miss Lane? Miss Lane. Okay, yeah, shout out she, to Miss Lane. Yeah, shout out to Miss Lane. But she told me, you know, if you don't use your talent, you're going you're gonna to lose it. Like a lot of people, they have talent. They don't take advantage of it, so they, they lose sight of it, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I lost, I lost sight of it for a little while, but once I got back on course, like, it's just been full focus since. Got you. So, was there any particular artist who inspired you, motivated you to sing? No. Um, I have artists I look up to, but I wouldn't say any that inspired me to sing. I kind of just, it kind of just happened. Like, I don't know how to explain it. kind of just, just started you. singing, you know? So what's your favorite uh, genre that you like to sing? What kind of music do you sing? Uh, R&B. I sing R&B. I write R&B. I can write rap. I just don't rap because, you know, I just, I okay. prefer not to, you know what <laughs> I mean? Right. But, I, yeah. I, I'm so you can not rap or you can just write lyrics? I can write a rap. I'm not comfortable rapping yeah. because I feel like everybody has their own lane. Like, I don't want to, you so know, it, it doesn't yours. feel, yeah, I'm staying in mine. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel right, you know? Okay. So would you consider yourself an outgoing person? Yes, I would. Okay, got you. And you talked about schools. Did you recently come out of school? You seem pretty young. How old are you? I'm 20 years old. Okay. I was in college. Um, I took a break to focus on music, but I'm still like, it's kind of like half and half. You know, I'm like 50% in the music, 50% into school. Like I'm restarting school again sometime next year. Okay. Um, I'm pursuing to be a criminal justice lawyer. Okay. You know, change the system because it's all 
kind of so crazy. That's but. Two big differences. You got a singer yeah. and then you got a criminal justice lawyer. Yeah. Okay. Before I didn't, before I wasn't pursuing uh, being a singer, like I was like, you know, I just sing. Yeah. But I wanted to pursue being a lawyer, you know, have my own office, walk in there and you run in everything, yeah. like, you know, really, okay. really making a change. You know, they say the change starts with yourself. So nice, nice. It's kind of whichever one works out for me, I'll lean on. And do you have any kids? No, I don't. Okay. How long have you been singing? I've been singing, um, I'm, I'm not even sure I could count the years. Well, how long have you been the artist? Irie the, the Irie singer. Irie the singer. So it was originally Irie. I started off, um, I had dropped an album. I had an album release party. I'd say that was like maybe two years ago. Um, and I had to change my name because another girl had trademarked her name as Irie. So I changed it to Irie the singer. But you guys are going to be the first people to know I am rebranding. I'm completely rebranding myself. I just dropped an EP. Okay. Um, it was on all platforms, but because Irie was still in the name, I had to just take it off everything. The only thing it is on right now is SoundCloud, but I'm rebranding myself completely as a new artist. So. Are you keeping the name? Um, I want to keep something familiar to the name, but I can't keep Irie. The whole thing, I'd have to just... So you're going to do away like, with the whole Irie, the I singer, have to completely come up with a complete new name. Else. <laughs> yeah, you know. I mean, but it's it's a good thing. You know, change is good. So yeah. maybe it's for so the So I best. guess, how do we know who's who? You're gonna, I guess you'll you'll put it out there on your social yeah. media, the yeah. change. Like change. Prince been, like, used to change his name all the time. So you change but, your name. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going to introduce that. I, I have to rebrand re myself because I have been getting um, a lot of people coming to me and they're telling me like, Oh, your music isn't where I can't reach anymore. So I, I do have to go out on Instagram and let them know, like, hey, I'm rebranding myself. You know what I mean? Stay tuned and all that other stuff. But a lot of good things are coming. So Okay, nice. So do you have any albums out? You got one out on SoundCloud? I have, yes, I have the album out that I had, and I have the EP that I just dropped on SoundCloud. So What are the name of both of those things? The first album, well, the album that I have dropped is called um, Recovered. Recovery. Recover. Recover, okay. Recover. Yeah, and the second, um, well, the EP I dropped is called Raw and Uncut. Okay. Yeah. And which song or songs are you most proud of of those albums that you would say are your favorite or your best songs? Um, Down For Me is one of my top favorite songs. Down okay. For Me. A lot of people love Toxic. It's one of my favorites. I just feel like it's too slow sometimes. Like, I feel like it drags a little bit. Yeah. And, um... The EP I just dropped, both of those songs are, are my favorites right now. Okay, and you are a writer? Yes. Okay, so how long have you been writing? Since elementary, since when I was singing, really. Well, did it start with poetry or you just... It started like, with poetry, yeah. Okay. Definitely started with poetry. And your songs, I know you said recovery, you said toxic. Those are kind of like in the same category. There's like stages of your life or, you, or your writing, does it represent you or just... Um, It's actually crazy. Most of the music... I wrote about before was never about what was going on in my life. Like I, I wasn't able to put what everything else was going on in the world or what was going on in my world on paper. I kind of just, when I listen to a song or when I, when I find a beat, the beat to me is a song itself. It's more like, what can you bring to this beat? Like, how can you bring this beat alive? You know what I mean? So I'll hear it and a melody will come and the words will just flow to me. Like I don't, sometimes it's like, I don't even have to think, but lately, um, Lately, the music I have been dropping has been about my personal life. Like, I've been trying to change it. I'll have some songs where, you know, there will be about my personal life and other songs people will be like, oh my gosh, like, are you okay? And I'm like, it's really not me. Like, it's, it's just the words. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just the words, you know, it's just the emotion that flows, so. Okay, so some, some are. Some are and some aren't. And some aren't, got right. you. Have you been performing on yes. stage or at different venues? Yes, I perform often. Um, I wasn't performing recently due to um, an accident I had gone into, but I've been performing more recently, like trying to push myself and get back out there. Okay. And when you're on stage performing, does that bring you back to the moment you were writing emotionally about the song, or are you just in a totally different place when you're performing? When I'm on stage performing, it feels natural. It feels like, you know, like I'm supposed to be there. It brings me, honestly, it brings me back to elementary school. Okay. Elementary schools when I first started performing, we used to have um, this rock school. It used to be so cool. I used to love it. And we do these shows like we're, we're kids, you know, we're little kids, but we do these big shows. He yeah. bring us out to these big venues and then have like, you know, the lead singers in the front and then the rest of the choir in the back. 
have us dress up crazy so we look like, you know, an actual rock band. Nice. Yeah, it was nice. Have you sung with a band before? Yes, I have. Well, besides that, but besides not like a, a regular, school. not like a full band. I've done a live performance with the band before. Okay. Gotcha. And question, are you dating? Are you single? I'm not dating. I'm not looking for relationships. My focus is strictly on music. Straight right? to the music. Straight yeah. to the music, yes. All right. And is there, if you could go back, is there anything you would change on your journey up until now? If I could go back. What advice would you give my your younger, younger self? self? To be careful, to be more cautious, and to not get so caught up in what, other, what everybody else has going on, you know what I mean? To, to put all the energy that you would put into other people into myself. Gotcha. Save myself some time, you know? Yeah. And who's your favorite artist? Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill? I love her. I okay. love her. I feel like she's, she's authentic, you know what I mean? She doesn't try to be anybody else and you know like when when artists get into the industry and they try to change your image or they try to make you or portray you to be somebody that you're not she's like completely rebellious and i love it you know okay. she's because she stays completely true to herself so i i respect that so do you see at least see some of herself in you yes i do so you would call yourself rebellious uh i mean <laughs> yes and no at times but you know not all the time okay and where do you see yourself in the next five years? Grammys, BET Awards. Okay. You know, big. I want to. I want to manifest big. I don't want to think small. And where can we follow you right now? All your social medias. How can everybody see more of you or listen to more of your music? Let them know. Okay, so you can follow me um, on all platforms at Iris Singer, A R I Double E the Singer. Um, on everything, SoundCloud, Apple Music, YouTube, all of that. And what about your social media? How can I? Well, this, it's the same name for everything. Instagram. Irish Singer on Irish Instagram. Singer, Instagram, Twitter. Um, okay. Yeah, and Instagram music. and Twitter. Yes. All right. And you mentioned um, what, SoundCloud? Yes, yeah, SoundCloud. Okay. SoundCloud and YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay. So since you're trying to hit the Grammys in the next <laughs> five years, what projects are you working on now? What do we have to look forward to? I have a new tape I'm working on. I can't give you guys too much detail, mm -hmm. but just know a lot of good things are coming. You know, I want to be able to lately, like when I drop, well, when I have dropped music before, you know, it was just like, you know, oh, let me just drop something here. So nobody's like, ah, where's your new music at? But I want to be able to drop music and drop music, drop a video, like really like blow everybody away, you know what I mean? I don't want a half step, I want a full step. And speaking of videos, do you have any music videos out now? No, no music videos out right now. Okay, and you are unsigned? Yes, I'm an independent artist. Okay, got you. And what advice would you give any young girl trying to get in the music business, trying to be a singer-songwriter? Stay focused on being a singer-songwriter. Don't let anybody cloud your judgment, tell you which way you should go, how you should dress, like stay completely authentic and true to yourself. I see. And what's the name of the latest EP you said you had out? Raw and Uncut. Raw and Uncut. How, yes. much, how much tracks is there? One? Just two. Two tracks on there? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a Session 32 remake and Left Unset. Okay. And we can find that music where? On SoundCloud. Um, I'm trying to find a way to put it back on YouTube right now, but so far it's just on SoundCloud. Okay. So you're not on Apple Music right now? No. Okay. And what would you want your legacy to be when it's all said and done? That's a great question. Um, I just want to be remembered for who I am, you know, for how, uh, how do I answer this? I want to be remembered for the person I am, not, not just the music, you know, like how I treat people or people who know me personally, like how, how do they see the kind of person I am or just being a giver, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. And if there's one thing that you could change in the world right now, what would it be? One thing, um, the justice system. And why? The justice system, like, a lot of African Americans, you know, I feel like get taken advantage of. I don't want to say get taken advantage of exactly, but they get, we get overlooked 
You know what I mean? Or people will look at us and be like, oh, they're not capable. Or, you know, officers, I don't want to say all officers, but the officers that are bad apples, they'll, they'll get this kind of like hold over you. Like we've had too many people like, and innocent people at that pass away or whatever the case is over something as small as like a traffic stop or traffic yeah. violation or something. You know what I mean? Like yeah. stuff that escalated because they, they know that they can get away with it because of the color of our skin. So that'd be something I'd want to change. Great, great. And final question. What does be the model mean to you? Be who you are. You know, be, like I said, be, be authentic, be yourself, be true to you. Like, I feel like that's, well, that's what it means to me. Got you. Thanks for joining us. Thank we you appreciate for you. Me. We're looking forward to your music, to the new EP. Thanks for joining us. We're definitely going to check out your music. Um, the new EP, what was the name of the new EP again? Raw and Uncut. Raw and Uncut. Yes. For everybody watching, check out Raw and Uncut by Irie the Singer. Still has that name for now. <laughs> for now, yeah. All right, we're looking forward to see you in the Grammy soon. Checking out your music. Thanks for stopping by. Thank and you for having me. And as we say to everybody, be great, be unique, and All definitely right. be the model. Be the model. Thanks for joining us. Ain't nobody ever show me love. Got me falling and I can't get up. My stomach turning, I can't get enough. And yeah, they talk, but we ain't giving up on this love. And this trust. I can't get enough of your love. And baby, you got me going crazy. All this gossiping, but it don't faze me. They say that there's a million fish in the sea. But you, my baby, you, my one and only. So, baby, tell me, can you come and hold me? I want you close, baby, don't let go.